Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play... This X3, Human Revolution. We've got a laser targeting system, which we will combine with uh, this particular weapon, as I love my pistol, for apparent reasons. And now we got a laser target. It's awesome. Super awesome, because now we can shoot people right in the freaking face with it. Oh yeah. Oh baby, this thing is so good. Yeah. Um, let's see. There's mission five. This mission six. We could go back. We could actually go to the limb clinics for a change. I mean, I haven't showed you that much. I for one approve so, of these um, protests. Yeah. This is actually the video that I used for uh, for the, uh, the rest of us are thing on my ch channel, Toxicate Wendy. But whatever. You don't even know that probably. Like when he comes in the video, I use that footage to cut up the, um, like an episode. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, actually got ah, a very nice dress, Mr. Uh, jacket. David Serov told like me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be under opposing shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrodes seems to be getting stronger. Wow. So I'm free to go? Well... Mr. Serif did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants yeah. were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. Oh, what limb is actually means he liberty of mind and body international. I never knew that. speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Serif did make a generous donation to Lim in your name, thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please. Take a look. I will. And you get actually 5,000 credits, and then you can buy Typhoon Owl, which we don't need. Hyperstims, uh, which Dr. will... Oh, you get 200 uh, points of health for a few seconds. Cyber Jars actually get... Uh, increase your... Well, they recharge all your enemy things. Uh, not enemy things. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, they recharge all your uh, batteries. And Praxis Kids, they are very good if you want praxis points. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. I will. So now I have a praxis point and I can put it in anywhere I want it, want it to be. I am not real sure if I want to go for turn termination. It is of course very important for the fortify thingy to be part of that. Um, I would Rather also have the jumping thingy. That could really be very important. You get sprint faster. That is for free, I think. Automatic sprint faster. I think. Activation cost too. Uh can't really decide. Decreased detection. That could be very important. Yep, I wanna confirm that. And uh, I want to go one up in the hacking thingy because that is always Dr. important. You can go in this thing. Is it true they stopped your heart? The machine does your And this, and you can go to this terminal and read stuff. Although there's probably nothing that that you need. Maybe there's something that we can pick up, but probably not. And there's nothing that we need to do here. Not really. That's gotta be later. Of course. Right, so we have Protesting two is not missions that are not finished, as you can see. 
And um, now that I did the side quest, particularly. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? Yep. For now. Good. Right now, I want to focus on analyzing that hub. Get to your apartment and call Frank. I will. I will really do that now. Because that is the most logic step right now. I think. Oh, I love my... I love my pistol. I'm never giving that away. Hi, lady. You have a thingy on your thingy. Excuse me for doing that. <clears throat> Holster my weapons. There we are. Good stuff. Uh, where do I need to go, by the way? I do know. We can go this way, all right. That's cool. Uh, by the way, we can actually um, finish side quest number three, so that's pretty important too, eh? Oh, now I know what I was searching for, right? There is a, you know, passage that you can only access if you have this strength I thingy. I I, I heard something else in that cogs. I'm sorry. That's how it is. You can go probably up this way. Oh yeah, we'll do it later, okay? Um, I just sh show you. This is my apartment, by the way. It's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty high upstairs. Um, there's a door right here with like large boxes, and you can only lift them if you. Turn around, Hog. This doesn't concern yeah. you. But um, yeah, I, I don't want trouble right now. I can have trouble later. And all these cars really look ridiculously stupid. The car building. The car building? I'm real sure. Ah, yeah, water. Great stuff, I say. Oh, hi. Have you found anything? Please, I've got to know what really happened to Megan. Complete the quest. I've investigated all of Detective Chase's leads. You were right. Something was off with Megan's case. So, what did you find? Um... There were only three people who got out of the labs alive. Me and two others. One died in the hospital a few days later. The second one, a lab tech, was ready to give a detailed description of what he saw. Funny thing is, by the time the investigators got to him, he couldn't remember a thing. You sound like you don't believe that. Yep, I don't. Me too. Not from the reports I've read. I think someone got to him first. Right. An officer assigned to the case was asked to get rid of a major piece of evidence. Footage from one of our intellicams showed fuzzy images of the attackers bringing something inside the labs. What? What were they bringing in? I don't know. But for someone higher up to want that evidence gone, it must have been important. I got my hand on a test report that confirms what was bothering Chase. The attackers used excessive measures to make bodies and equipment unidentifiable. Oh my god, Megan. What do you make of this, Adam? I don't know exactly. I guess the idea was to leave no traces, no DNA evidence that would link back to them. But it just seems a bit too convenient. Right. Ah, Someone in the government, a man named Manderley, ordered that a specially appointed medical examiner perform the autopsy. He bypassed the local ME. Simply put, that's not a good sign. It sure doesn't sound good. So what you're telling me is we couldn't find anything conclusive? No, I'm sorry. But one thing's for sure. Somebody's been hard at work covering up and destroying evidence related to this case. Somebody with power who wanted to erase anything that might have made the investigation linger. I'm sorry, Cassandra. I wish I had more tangible answers to give you. It's all right, Adam. I'm sure you did all you could. At least now I know my instincts were right. And, um, do you... Do you know exactly how Megan died? I read the reports. She didn't suffer, Cassandra. I can promise you that. Thank you, Adam. It's not much, but it still brings me some comfort. I miss her so much. Yeah, we all do. Don't worry, Cassandra. This is not over. 
I don't know how or when, but I will get to the bottom of this. I knew I was right to trust you, Adam. But please, be careful. It's strange. I thought knowing what really happened would make me feel better. But nothing will ever justify this. My daughter is gone, and I'll never get her back. I wish. I wish I could be sure she gets justice. Trust me, she will. Yeah, and we will deal so with far, that. Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests for an interview. All right. Let's go. Upstairs into our freaking flat. Where are you, Jensen? I haven't gone all night. Hello, Pritchard. I'm almost in my apartment now. Well, when you do get in there, connect the neural hub to your computer. I've created a secure tunnel, and I'll take over remotely. You can tunnel. access my personal computer. Who do you think configured your security protocols? Wow. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. I love that thing. I just love that it's all automatic and stuff. Crunchy pirate. Magic gnome. Oh, he never actually, you know, moved into this place, right, did he? Um, yeah. I guess there's something behind there. I can't remember. No, there's not. There is not, but there is actually a secret thingy behind that thing. Hex TV. Ah, oh, well. Go away. That was a secret thingy. Like, there's a safe behind that TV or something. Can't remember. Oh, yeah. An intelligent black. Oh, he yeah, actually has a comet rifle. That is nothing to worry about. And some painkiller somewhere. Yeah, cyber bars. And a faucet. Didn't even know that you can turn it on. Well, now you know. Richard, the hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard, not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My god, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows someone to hack through you. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. Get me the address, Pritchard. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Maybe. All right. New access code. Adam, it's David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory. Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Right. Armor piercing system and a lot of ammo. And I think I want to do, I'll use that on whatever. Combine. With the pistol only, apparently. <laughs> now, this thing is now a blast. That will kill probably anything. Alright. So. Security yeah, that's pretty nice, good lady. Bye. I love my pistol. I don't know, it's just super awesome. I use better headshots usually. Of course, you need something else, like for robots and whatnot. You need that too. Hi, girl, what's up? Let's go this way. Not really sure if I got all the side missions till now, but, you know, I guess so. Ah. Jensen, 
I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Pritchard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo, alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Right. Oh, and it's Cholo. Meet the mysterious informant. Oh yeah, by the way. If I had the Praxis Point put into the thing, then we could go there. But now we can't. I think. I don't know, we can't. It's possible. You just need to sprint fast and then jump. Then you get there, or there, I'm sure. And then there's like a contextual wall that you can punch, where I put the practice point in, right? So yeah, I need to remember that for later. Like some of the areas are not open from the start, so um, and you need to start using the ladders again, because that kind of hurts if you fall down. Right, so there's like a side quest. I guess we should, you know, do this. I mean, if, why not? Let's, oh, hi, hot guy. Uh -uh. Good that you're playing Skyrim. It's a good, it's a good game. It's a bit not boring. It's a long, but just as long as this game is. So. Not complaining here. Oh, how I hate being slow. Still just the same music? Wow. We've been listening to that like for hours now. Uh -huh. So, let's go this way. Mr. Informant Guy. Do I want to meet you here somewhere? See, for that, you would use high jump and go over there. There's a credit shit. There are some credits. I can't believe this whole hostage thing. Mm hmm. Well, that is a hidden alleyway. What up, man? I see you got my message, Cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you. Considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on a gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Tink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or to leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. Yep. Now we got a secretary full of codes. Um, this here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Facility door, dedicated terminals, all access. Okay. Sec hub. That's like really heavy, man. We should go to Seraph Industries and use these codes. Although, no, we don't. Let's go to mission number seven. Uh, is there a, is Limkling actually here or somewhere else? I don't know. Uh, wait a second. I want to go to the Limkling first because I think I have enough money to buy another practice point and I really want to buy the <clears throat> the uh, jumping thing because I usually used to think that it's really important to get into certain places that you can't access without the jumping thingy so thanks for Welcome letting me there all right now let's buy stuff. Will you be purchasing anything today? Yes, I do. 
on a Praxis kit. I'll buy this. And they're sold Always out. So, let's see. A augmentation on... Oh, it needs two. Frick. Well, then we'll need to wait till we get the next practice point. Actually, not so far away, so... Not a big deal, per se. Let me look at the time here. We'll probably get to the mission point, but I think we shouldn't start doing it. Let me just look at the map where to go. We could go through here. Yeah, why not? I mean... It's like a fair amount of walking, but that's okay. Besides, I can show you the e, the quick way to go there. It's like the secret tunnel base or something. Also, there's like a... Um, are you sp why are you spraying on it? Hmm. Hopefully nothing that contains white power. Um... Getting back, getting back. So, example. This is like a security 5 rating door, so I'm never gonna get that unless I have a security thing. Um, this is like the thing from uh, Deus Ex. Come on, come on, basketball. Whoa, Jensen, you got some strength. Right there. So here's the security thingy hidden thingy. But you need extra strength to get through here, because at the end, there's actually, oh wait, it's actually this. You need high jump and strength thingy to get through, because there's that um, garbage can, but you can't move. What up, mate? Ick. Ick. What up? Anything good? going on guys so we're close hookers a beer come on baby hey Jensen long time no see what up Jensen my god it's been a while remember me sure you used to work the old 17 like. precinct back in the day man <laughs> I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Right. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. I like your new style. A bit revealing for my taste, but not entirely unappealing. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> well, don't get your hopes up, big boy. I'm undercover, keeping tabs on derelict rowballers. I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. Is that so? We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? Eh, why not? I've actually never met Can't let a guy like that run free. Or finish that. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Right. Okay. But we have to be careful how we handle this. It could discredit your investigation. True. But thing is, Jensen, it's either this or there simply won't be an investigation. You know me. I usually play by the book. Only this time, the bad guy's a friend of the publisher. Right. What about the undercover assignment? Posing as a hitman. 
O'Malley's crafty and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're gonna have to play this one macho and knock him out. One yeah. of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Right. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't yep. know where exactly the DRB's cash is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Alright. So, there's a lot of shit that we have to do, eh? And, um, I think we'll do that in the next episode, right? So, see you around, guys. Bye.